It's official. Trade a Repub about to deliver impeachment against Trump, here's sick reason why. Despite the usual support given to a president by his own party, a few of the Republicans serving on Capitol Hill today are less than supportive of President Trump. Maybe it stems from his lack of willingness to play ball with their usual antics or perhaps they would have had a problem with anyone that wasn't an establishment puppet, but the results are the same, the president is fighting against two parties in Washington. One might expect a little pushback on the unconventional issues that the president wants to address, like making Mexico pay for their own wall. Americans love the idea, but many politicians see it as unreasonable. That's tough luck for them considering it's what the president and the American people want, however, what we didn't expect when we elected our lawmakers is that they would try to stab us in the back and remove the man we sent to the White House. However, according to The Hill, that's exactly what some of our elected officials are doing. At least two Republicans are working to impeach the president that we fairly elected. Rep. Steve Cohen, Democrat Tennessee in an interview on Sunday said at least one Republican is considering supporting articles of impeachment against President Trump. I have one Republican that has said he is looking at it, he's considering it, Cohen said on MSNBC Live. I have other Republicans, just like Senator Bob Corker suggested, who have told me on a constant basis that they know this man is not balanced, he is not capable of continuing to lead us. According to Cohen, more than just a few of the establishment lackeys in Washington aren't a fan of our current president, these two aren't just spearheading the push for what they all really want. Cohen said those Republicans will privately tell you, by their words and by their expressions, that they would like to see an end to Trump's presidency. But the Republican base is still supportive of Trump. That's who's strong in their primaries, and politically, they can't come out and say it, Cohen told host Alex Witt. So, to recap, our representatives don't like the POTUS, and they can't speak out against him for fear of not getting re-elected, but they're going to support a push to remove him from office, even though they know it's not what their constituents want. If that's not a direct violation of what they're sent to Washington to do, I don't know what is. Cohen announced in August he would introduce articles of impeachment against Trump based on his comments following the deadly violence at a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Another Democrat, Rep. Al Green, Texas, unveiled articles of impeachment against Trump on the House floor last week. One of Green's articles of impeachment states that Trump is fueling an outright hate machine that's causing immediate injury to American society. Another states that Trump engaged in perfidy by falsely claiming that he lost the popular vote to Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton because millions of people voted illegally in the 2016 presidential election. However, Green didn't force a vote on the articles of impeachment, saying he wanted his colleagues and the public to be able to view them first. So to translate that from political speak into layman's terms. The Democrats have been trying to pull this impeachment crap as a publicity stunt for months, but it's just been them acting like Democrats and objecting to a Republican president who's getting things done. It's time that lawmakers across both houses of Congress and both political parties consider the fact that perhaps he's not fueling out anything, maybe he was elected because he mirrors the actual values that middle-class Americans, also called the silent majority, feel are important. To that end. Jerry Falwell, the president of Liberty University has a name for the traitors and a plan to fix the problem. In an interview on Fox and Friends Weekend, Falwell explained why he coined the phrase fake Republicans. I think there are several Republicans in the Senate who pretended to be conservative Republicans. And they really don't share the same values, he said. And I think if they will get out of the way and honor the values that they ran on, keep the promises that they made to their constituencies when they ran, I think Donald Trump has the potential to be the greatest president since Abraham Lincoln. He added voters needed to find candidates who are not professional politicians. I think it's time for the political class to go, he declared. I think they need to find people who have been successful in other fields like Donald Trump is and elect them next year, primary these guys out of there. I think that's the only way it's going to be solved. Yes, that solution would mean a huge upset in Washington, 
but it might be the only solution that will get the job done. We see what can happen when just the president is replaced with a real person with a real understanding of budgets and business. Who knows what this country could do if the entire Republican population of government were real people who understood real problems. That would be a huge step toward making America great again, great again.